Dr. Zimmerman, there's a patient downstairs awaiting your assessment. Fresh from trial. Dr. Zimmerman? Harry? If you need to take some time off, I'm sure everyone will understand. a few days, a week. Spend some time with your kids. After what you've been through, I'm sure they need you. Miss Johnson, is that her parents' house on fire? With them in it. Pyromaniac. Pyrophiliac. Pleasured herself as she watched them burn alive. That's disgusting. That's life. What room is she in? <sighs> Miss Johnson. Christine. The judge has ordered that you undergo a forensic sentencing evaluation. Uh, they want to know how dangerous you are. <laughs> well, they could just ask me. I need you to know that anything you say in here is not confidential. A report will be written up and submitted to the judge. If you say so. You know, I expected this place to be, I don't know, like dingier? It being a mental hospital and all. But I guess I've just seen too many movies. If you don't mind, I have a few questions to ask. I like your tie. Um, have you ever abused drugs? It's a little crooked, though. Miss Johnson. Christine. And no, I would never use drugs. They can kill you, you know? It says here you were arrested two years ago for heroin possession. Oh, heroin counts as a drug? Well then, in that case. Did you get into any trouble as a child? Trouble? What kind of trouble? Well, did you skip school, get suspended, expelled? Check. Check. And check. Have you ever abused animals? Oh my god, that's horrible. And yes. Any examples? Oh, my. Let's see. Hmm. We used to have this pet cat when I was little. <laughs> Snuffles. I set her tail on fire. Actually, I set a lot of things on fire. Things? Animals, bugs, worms. I used to have this uh, magnifying glass when I was little. <laughs> I thought it was magic. Did you feel bad about it? When you step on an ant, do you feel bad? Uh, did you feel different than other kids growing up? Well, most girls my age were disgusted by insects, but I was quite fascinated with them. I know most kids wanted to kill them too, but that's just because they were scared. I thought it was fun to pull the legs off of a spider one by one, or twist and stretch out a worm until it came apart. Have you ever done that? I can't say that I have. Um, hmm. How was your relationship with your parents? Great. Okay, maybe a little explosive at times. Come on, that was funny. Did you attend their funeral? Nah. Have you had any relationships with the opposite sex? Lots. Same sex, too. 
How long on average do they last? Not very long. <laughs> oh, you mean the relationships. Um, yeah, not very long. May I ask you, doctor, uh, do you like what you do? I'm sorry? Uh, do you like it, this job? Yes. You must see some pretty fucked up things. It's just, it's not the most typical line of work, you know? I mean, you could have been an engineer or a dentist, but you chose this. I'm just saying. If you give me a few minutes, I, uh, I have to attend to something. You didn't strike me as a smoker, Dr. Zimmerman. It's all over your clothes. I can smell it. You'd think a doctor would know better than to smoke. But then again, you're not that kind of a doctor, are you? Are you finished, Miss Johnson? Is it stress? Yeah. Stress. That must be it. You said you had multiple short-term relationships. Uh, what generally was the reason for their end? That's ending? it. Stress in the relationship. Is that what got you smoking, Dr. Zimmerman? Wife being a bitch? Ms. Johnson, the sooner you answer these questions, the sooner we can, we can both... It sounds to me like you are... You're missing a little something. Right here. Midlife crisis. Things just aren't the same as they used to be. It's gone. You've lost that spark. But I can help you. I can help you get that fire started again. Miss Johnson. Christine, and you really need to fix that tie. Do you like it? Smoking? Feels good, doesn't it? The taste in your mouth. The smooth cylinder between your lips. I prefer cigars myself. Stop. You and your wife. It must be pretty bad, huh? I feel for you. There. It's better. Oh, you're warm enough to me. Stop it. What are you doing? A little delayed there, wouldn't you say?